Hello friends, welcome to KB Tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about West Assured API testing commonly asked interview questions. In this series, I am going to prepare a couple of videos because there will be so many questions guys. So uh, in this video, as you can see, I am going to explain about 6 major interview questions here. So before getting into the questions, let me introduce myself. I am Karthik, usually upload a video 3 times a week that is on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So if you are here consider subscribing to my channel okay and one of the most important asked question guys is URI okay this is a basic question and every interviewer expect you to know this concept okay what's the full form and what is it's all about okay so URI means uniform resource identifier in the name itself saying uniform that means uniquely resource that means anything on the server identifier you're identifying so it means I am trying to identify my resource uniquely in the server okay that is a URI means as you can see the format it will have a protocol either HTTP HTTPS and service name and the resource type and resource ID okay and what is a protocol restful web services uses okay every restful web services and rest assured will build on top of HTTP guys so it it, uh, your get method, your post, put, delete of rest assured methods well in the end it will be a put, put, delete, uh, uh, get uh, methods on HTTP only okay so like that those were built okay and one more interview major interview question guys is what is resource okay based on this they will ask so many questions okay resource is nothing but the output of your end point is uh, is nothing but a resource that means uh, how the resource will be coming is either it is in text json or xml formats so it is uniquely identifying you are uniquely identifying your resource and how you are get on the server and how you are getting is text json and xml okay and they will ask you what kind of resource format you will get in your project okay if you say json and they might ask you so many questions on json and one of the common question is like how you pass a json okay yeah how you get a value from a json object okay using json uh, path library i'll get those this path library you can download and put it in your project or you can use the meva dependencies you can add that in pom.xml as well similar way for the xml as well there's a library called xml path guys so you have to use that one okay this is a normal uh, question and this is little bit tricky guys can we create a resource using get method okay get method we cannot create a resource in a get method there's a direct question okay you cannot create it get method is only to read only there's a view only purpose only it's not creating okay put and post method will create okay usually post method will create it the resource on the server okay one second guys <coughs> so um, what is the difference between the put and post method they will ask you okay to explain this concept let's take two uh, web pages guys one is your registration page one is your modifying details okay so modify the details method registration page where you are going to register to the particular site for the first time where you will be giving something like your first name last name some email id phone number kind of thing where once you click on the sign up your email id will get registered with that particular website that means in the server backend the resource on your email id will get created they will be identified you will be identified uniquely that means the resource is getting created on the server that will be done by the post method guys and the status code for that is 201 okay and when it comes to put method it's like when suppose you logged into your site and you want to modify your phone number that uh, you are using the old number that number you are not at all using now so you want to update with a new number so in that case you are already uniquely identified in the server okay that performed by the post now you are modifying the data of your identity okay 
with the new values that performed by the put method guys okay and the status score for this is 200 and the difference here is like if you that is a major difference okay and it comes to server side if you perform too many operations on creating a resource on the server it might slows down the server okay because you are creating so many services okay uh, when it comes to put method uh, it is not going to uh, put any kind of uh, pressure on the server let's say you have uh, taken from one member to other member you modified okay resource got updated the same thing again you are doing here there is no update will happen because it will check with the previous value okay for that uh, so like that does difference okay creating a new new resource and and modifying the existing resource and what is the function name okay other method name you will use to set path parameters okay path parameters are uniquely identified in the resource okay whatever that comes after the backslash is nothing but a path parameter as you can see here resource type it is coming after the backslash is a path parameter and also here it's coming this is also a path parameter so what happens here is like path parameters will set like this in your function and comma you can send the values or you can use path params there's a one more method and i have created a full video on it and i'm gonna put it in a um, cards now in the right side you can see otherwise at the end of this uh, this video also you can see the path parameters um, um, path parameters tutorial guys so i hope this tutorial is informative and uh, uh, please do subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching thank you